The Kuwait National Development Plan sets the nation's long-term development priorities. It's organized around seven pillars or areas of focus for investment and improvement. Infrastructure. Develop and modernize the national infrastructure to improve the quality of life for all citizens. Construction, completion and maintenance of intersections on the western part of the 5th Ring Road. The construction project sector of the Ministry of Public Works is responsible for construction, completion and maintenance of intersections on the western part of the 5th Ring Road. Cost of the project is 108 million and 800,000 Kuwaiti dinars. It is a mega project that will serve the areas overlooking the western part of the 5th Ring Road, like Ardia, Firdos, Slaybiya, Slaybikhat, south of Doha, and Qairawan. The total length of roads is 21.2 kilometers and includes three bridges, as well as another bridge with a length of 2.8 kilometers on top of three intersections. The project includes the construction of four upper bridges in addition to irrigation and agriculture services and street lighting, traffic control system, electricity and telephone works. The project will transform the existing six intersections into three intersections and upgrade the safety of road users and allow the design speed on the road up to 120 km per hour instead of 80 km per hour. It works to raise the level of service for the existing road and increase the number of lanes from 3 to 4 lanes in each direction and adds service corridors and emergency routes. The project is expected to be completed in January of 2020. The annual plan 2017-2018 is scheduled to continue 164 projects that will contribute more than 50 billion in revenue. From a Kuwaitian news account, the implementation of the western part of the fifth ring is progressing with the steady. And from Ministry of Information account, project development of the western part of the fifth ring, which serves Ardiya, Ferdos, Slibia, Slibihat, south of Doha, and Qairawan. And from news account, development of the western part of the fifth ring, it's one of the largest infrastructure projects in the country, with the aim of the developing the road system and reducing traffic using multi-road bridges at some intersections. It has a value of 108.8 million dinars, and all work ends in the project early 2021. For more information or details regarding Kuwait development projects, please visit the website of Ministry of Public Works. The Royal Embassy of the Kingdom of Bhutan celebrated their 111th anniversary. As the celebration was attended by His Highness Sheikh Nasser al Mohammed al Jabal Sabah and by the Minister of Social Affairs and Labour and Minister of State for Economic Affairs, Hind al Sabih. Moreover, the Kuwaiti Ambassador to the Kingdom of Bhutan, His Excellency Mr. Fadl al Hassan, also attended the celebration. Uh, well, firstly, uh, today we celebrate uh, the establishment of our uh, Wanchuk dynasty. It was when the first King of Bhutan. His Majesty Gomez Rugi Wanchuk was unanimously elected as the first King of Bhutan in 1907 on the 17th of December. So it's the establishment of the current uh, monarchs of our kingdom. So this is a very special significant day for us and uh, we celebrate this every year uh, to, pay, uh, to pay our respects uh, to our kings. Uh, well, in terms of uh, visits, I am hoping that uh, uh, His Majesty the King will uh, visit uh, Kuwait in the near future. I also hope that uh, His Highness, as well as uh, uh, senior officials from uh, Kuwait, will visit Bhutan uh, soon in the near future. Our relations, as I mentioned uh, during my address, is uh, very special bonds of friendship between our two countries. So uh, for, from our side, we always look forward to further strengthening it uh, through the mutual exchange of uh, visits at the highest political levels. Good evening. I'm happy to be with you tonight. 
I am in holiday in Kuwait. Then I receive a, an invitation from the embassy of Bhutan, and I found it as a good opportunity to submit our congratulation to our good friend Bhutan, to His Majesty the King Jigme Kesar Namge Wanchok, and to His Excellency the Ambassador uh, of Bhutan, uh, His Excellency Bonjour, and uh, to the people of Bhutan. Uh, today we are in uh, Kuwait celebrating the 111 the national day of Bhutan. Uh, so I'm happy to be with you here and I repeat and uh, I repeat my congratulations. During the event there was a live performance of traditional Bhutanese dance which was very lovely as many of the Bhutanese community in Kuwait have attended the celebration wearing their traditional national outfits.